Hello everybody, welcome back to Let's Play Dragon Age. Last time we left off, uh, we made it to the camp here in Ostagar, ready to be joining the Grey Wardens by some ritual. And I, at the end of the last part, I forgot to unmute my microphone as I temporarily paused it to go and do something, came back and forgot to unpause it. Uh, what a tragedy. <laughs> anyway, I'm back now, so we'll carry on. You there, Elf, what's your name? Oops, am I oh, interrupting something? It, it, it's Pick, sir. Go tell Turn Logan that the war party's ready to begin scouting. We'll send word if we find anything amiss. Yes, sir. R right away, sir. Yes. I see you have your little errand boy there. You're the dwarf who walks with the Grey Wardens. A respectable decision. Do you know much about us dwarfs? Some, like all Ash Warriors. Our training originates from the dwarves. Is there something you wanted? We have no time for idle chatter. Okay, get it. My thanks. Crack on there is something to be done, and I'll not be kept from it. Yes, very good. Oh. Mm, this isn't good. I'd hate to waste such a promising member of the breed. Are you the new warden? I could use some help. What's the problem? This is a Mabari, smart breed and strong. His owner died in the last battle, and the poor hound swallowed darkspawn blood. Oh dear. I have medicine that might help. I need him muzzled first. Mm -hmm. And why do you think I could just muzzle him? You're a grey warden, or soon will be. All wardens are immune to the darkspawn taint. The most you have to worry about is some tooth marks. Okay. Oh, go on then. Go in the pen and let him smell you. We'll know right away if he'll respond. Let's hope this works. I'd really hate to have huh. to put him down. Yeah, let's hope this works. Or I might lose a bloody hand, eh? Dog looks up at you respectfully, backing down from his aggressive stance. You can see intelligence in his eyes, as well as a great deal of pain. This animal is very ill. Looks fine to me. <laughs> Kill the dog. Okay, we'll put the muzzle on. Oh, he's cowering away. Growls weakly, but does not challenge Well me. done. Now I can treat the dog properly, poor fella. Come to think of it, are you heading into the wilds any time soon? Don't think so. I'm here just Aren't to fight. We all? Still, you'll get closer to the wilds than I will, I suspect. There's a particular herb I could use to improve the dog's chances. It's a flower that grows in the swamps here, if I remember. If you happen across it, I could use it. It's very distinctive, all white, with a blood-red centre. You think I have nothing better to do than run around after you for flowers? We're all busy. As it is, if we can get this hound better, we can re-imprint him on someone. Even you, if you like. Ah, my own little pet, eh? It'd be nice to have a pet dog, I think. Okay. Where is this flower you speak of? It usually grows in dead wood that collects at the edge of ground pools. Should be plenty this time of year. Fine, I'll have a Good. look. In the meantime, I'll begin treating our poor friend. I almost feel like I didn't have a choice in that one. Right, oh, we got a codex. Mabari Warhounds. Basically, they're very smart dogs. They're imprinted to an in particular owner. And that's pretty much it. War dogs. King Merrick. It is difficult to separate the man from the myth. The last survivor of the bloodline of King Callan had the Silver Knight. Merrick drove the Elysian forces from Ferelden's borders, reclaimed the throne, and freed our people from foreign tyranny. All true, and all larger than life. He was born in a hiding near Castle's Crossing to the rebel queen Moira, and grew up in the rebel camps, an outlaw in his own country. When the Rebel Queen died, Marek inherited her homeless nobles, malcontents and displaced freeholders, and with the aid of his friend, Logan McTeer built them into an army. After the pivotal battle of the River Dane, Marek took the throne. He married Rowan, daughter of Renderon Girin, Earl of Redcliffe, and began the long slow process of rebuilding everything, all they had demolished during 70 years of occupation. From Ferelden, Folklore and History by Sister Petrine Gentry Scholar. Thank you, Sister Patrine, for enlightening us about him. 
Right, come over here. Look, people Never are doing above. something. Hear the prayers of your sons and daughters. Hear the prayers. We who betrayed your prophet Andraste yes. now beg your forgiveness. Beg for forgiveness. Not yes. abandon us yes. in our darkest hour. What are you chattering about, woman? Watch over the valiant King Kalen and God. Oh no, I don't want to chop anybody up. Watch over Shh, I'm trying to listen. Oh, shut up. I'll, t I'll, I'll say some prayers for you. I'll say some prayers. Listen Watch to my prayers. Move over. Holy oh, my Keep God. Keep her people safe from the dark spot. You're all about to die. To offer prayers to the maker. So that if you're going to say some prayers, way. I'd say... Oh, that can speak to her. I do not have time to speak at present. Thank you. You seem to be speaking a lot of words before I came, actually. I wonder you don't have time. With your piddly little prayers of useless uselessness. Oh, who are you, old lady? Greetings, young man. You are Duncan's newest recruit, are you not? He's not a man easily impressed. You should be proud. Oh. Allow me to introduce myself. I am Wynn, one of the mages summoned by the king. And I'm Horston. Well met, and good luck to you on the battlefield. To us all, in fact. Luck, but skill that will save us. And I'm sure you have plenty of that to offer. Mm. To defeat the Darkspawn, we have to work together. It's not an idea everyone seems able to grasp. Do you know much about the Darkspawn? Some. Do you? Do you know about the connection between them and the Fade, for example? No, I'm a dwarf, actually. It's home to many spirits. Some benevolent, others far less so. At the heart of the Fade lies the Black City. The Black City? Some say the Black City was once the seat of the Maker. But when the mages from the Tevinter Imperium found a way into the city, it was tainted with their sin. That taint transformed those men, turning them into twisted reflections of their own hearts. And the Maker cast them back to the Earth, where they became the first Darkspawn. At least, that's what the Chant of Light says. You humans and your gentry. All this hocus-pocus nonsense. It may be allegory, meant to teach us that our own evil causes human suffering. Or it may be true. It is as good an explanation as any for now. Don't you have any proper advice? Advice? Never. You young ones know all there is to know about the world anyway. Why would you need oh, advice from an elder? sarcasm, hey? But I'm certain Duncan has more for you to do than talk to me. Yeah, maybe he's right. <laughs> Silly old bat. She's the fruitcake. What? Did we have something to see there? Win. Wynne's talent became apparent early on, in particular her skill at healing magic. She was well liked by her mentors and she was recognized as an exceptionally gifted student. Even the Templars who watched her could not deny that she represented the best the circle had to offer. She was an intelligent young woman who possessed a quiet confidence and maturity beyond her years. And now that she's an old biddy, well, she might as well be dead then. She spent many years mentoring apprentices within the circle, and her peers thought so highly of her that she was asked to be first enchanter, Irving's successor, but she refused, saying that she had no desire to work in the upper echelons. When word reached the Tower of King Kalen's call to arms, Wynne volunteered to go to Ostagar. That frail old bat over there has been asked to fight. She couldn't fight off a cold. So, any last wish? Well, you're not what I thought you'd be. Excuse me? What's that supposed to mean? Oh, me and Sir Knight were just betting on what the third recruit would be. Not a dwarf, yet here you are. The name's Davith. <laughs> it's about bloody time you came along. I was beginning to think they cooked this ritual up just for our benefit. Okay, we did not get off to uh, the best of uh, footings right now, mocking me or something. What do you know about the ritual? I happened to be sneaking around camp last night, see, and I heard a couple of Grey Wardens talking. So, I listen in for a bit. I'm thinking they plan to send us into the wilds. The wilds? So what? That wouldn't frighten me. Cannibals, beasts, witches, and now Darkspawn. What isn't to be scared of? It's all too secretive for me. Makes my nose twitch. I guess we'll have to wait and see. <laughs> like we have a choice. Oh my god, what the hell? Fine! Oh, they're forcing you to be here? 
I've got nowhere else to go after what Duncan saved me from. Anyway, I expect it's time to get back to Duncan. That's where I'll be if you need me for anything. I don't think I'll be needing you, my friend. The imbecile. Didn't think it'd be a dwarf. Why not? What's wrong with dwarf people? Oh, okay. it's locked. Everything's locked around here. Chests are all bloody locked. Quartermaster. Have you seen an elf running about? Young woman, red hair, carrying a suit of chain. Can't say I have. <laughs> I'm saying these off the top of my head, and it actually comes up that's like Blast three times. It. Where did she go? Quite hilarious. That suit better be patched up well, when she gets back on. Or buy them, make her up. No, pardon my manners. My troubles are no concern of yours, I'm sure. Oh, I'm the quartermaster. Did you come for supplies? Oh no! Tell me I'm recording. Oh shoot! Oh, I am. <laughs> I'm paranoid now that I'm forgetting to do things like press the record button on the uh, hoppage or not having my microphone plugged in. Do excuse me. I might cut this out. We'll cut this. We'll cut edit. We'll edit this out. Don't worry about it. <laughs> Pardon my manners. My troubles are not concerned of yours. I'm the show of the quartermaster. Did you come for supplies? Uh, do you need help tracking this girl down? Maybe there might be some cash in it for me. Oh, I'm sure you have better things to do than run errands for me. I can find it myself. Fine, I offer. Don't tell. Don't ask me again. I offer once and that's it. You tell me no, that means no forever. Let me see what you have. Let me know what you'd like. Because I've got some stuff I want to sell. I can't use these. some of these things. Like bows. I'm not going to use any bows. I'm just going to chop people down. Hack and slash. I'm going to sell all... Oh, wait a minute. No, be careful. We're going to get some recruits soon, aren't we? So they might be able to use them. Duh, we share an inventory as well, so... We'll just hang off the... Oh, I'll open the commoner clothing, will we? We'll hang off the selling for now. In case we need to use them for our future people. But a blank vellum you can have. A silver chalice you can have. A green stone you can have. I have 27 silvers. Hardly rich, but it's a start. Hello again. Is there something you need? Some supplies, perhaps? What kind of supplies do you have? Well, I've seen what kind of supplies you have, but... Arms and armour, for the most part. It's for the King's men, but uh, you Grey Wardens can buy what you need for a modest price. I also have some uh, goods on the side I can provide. Strictly off the record, of course. To keep morale up, you understand. <laughs> oh, let me see your other goods, then. So long as you keep it quiet. Aye. Mum's the word. Don't worry. Ooh, some nice axes. What's this war axe you're talking about? Well, that's one-handed again. Oh, that's my weapons. Duh, stupid. <laughs> oh my god. It's been such a long time since I've played this. Battle axe. Grey iron battle axe. Ooh, that looks quite nice. Actually, it's only slightly better than this one I've got now. But yet costs 79 silvers. Anything else? Ooh, some new gloves and things and... Far too expensive for me. Okay, I've seen the other supplies. I don't like any of that crap. Who else is it to speak to? Oh, what's happening here? Hello, Nursey. You may not want to remain here long, Warden. Most of these men have been tainted by the Darkspawn blood. Oh dear. Oh, are you alright, sir? It. I can feel it inside me. Oh dear, it doesn't sound good. In the name of Andraste, oh, I bless you today. May you find favour in the Maker's eyes. What's this? So let it be. Chant of Light. This is actually a chant. Forget that. You think I'm reading that crap? I don't think so. I don't do chantry nonsense. Who are you? 